jumping into an ongoing conversation can be difficult for some people. We're going to look at three nonverbal ways that you can create a little space that will allow you to jump in. My name is Alex Lyon and I'm here to provide professional development tips that you can use at your very next meeting. So a conversation is flowing along, it's busy and you're having trouble jumping in. Here are three ways that you can make a little space for yourself so that you can give your verbal contribution. The first is to hold up the one finger. It's not a full hand raise, that looks a little young, but usually the one finger, people will start to notice that, hey, I've got a point to make. And that'll create a little bit of a space. It's like a little placeholder. Like, I'm not talking right now, but I want to jump in in a moment. A lot of times the people facilitating the meeting will say, oh, Alex, I see you're trying to make a point. What did you have to say? The second way is to lean forward just a little bit and audibly inhale. It looks like this. And it might sound goofy, but this is what people naturally do when they're about to speak. They lean forward and they inhale. I did this once just kind of playing around at a meeting with some people I knew very well, and they instantly all looked over at me and waited for me to say something. It created a real space for me to make my verbal contribution. And the third way is to look directly at the person who's currently speaking, not a little extra, and make a kind of utterance. You don't have to say actual words, but make some sounds like, mm-hmm, oh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And then as they're finishing off their comment, you already are on the on-ramp to make your comment and creates a little bit of space for you to then make your verbal contribution. So these are three of the ways you can non-verbally jump into a discussion. I hope you get to use these tips at your very next meeting.